one triple chocolate meltdown. You're not my waitress. Shift change. Lucky me. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, it's kind of abrupt. I had a thing going with this other lady. Really? She was bringing me napkins and mints. We kind of see. Finished. You know that's rough. But at her age, Carlene can only handle the day shift. Plus, there's a murder she wrote marathon on this weekend, so. I'm stuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on out there? It's a bunch of overheated jocks, too dumb to know they have no future, fighting over a game that has no meaning in a town from which there is no escape. <laughs> That's, uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, my name is Tyra, and I'll be at your service for the next six hours. Okay. I just came by to give you something, but now maybe I'm not feeling like it anymore. <laughs> what is it? You remind me of him. I remind you of an old wrinkled black man wearing a weird hat? Yeah, something like that. Okay. <laughs> well. That's it. Thanks. Hey, you, you want to come for a ride with me? A ride? Yeah, I work for an investment bank. And we're looking to see if the oil fields are worth reopening around here, and I got to go out to the fields and do an evaluation, you know, financial feasibility analysis, and I'm just boring you yeah, to death. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, I got to go out to the fields, meet some geologists. Um, I was wondering if you want to go for a ride. I'm not going to sleep with you. What? I it wasn't. I'm not. I just like your company. See, so this isn't what I'm clear about. We've got mass producing board and mass producing power. You guys know better than I do. I don't know. I guess I just have to laugh. All these people so caught up in their tiny little lives. It's ridiculous, don't you think? <laughs> what? Nothing. You're opinionated. I like that. <clears throat> you know what else I hate, just for the record? What? Oil. <laughs> OK. Why? I know it's a wildly held belief, but any particular reason? I hate what it did to my father. This whole town, really. My father, he lost his job as a rigger in the last bust. I mean, it's worse than crack. These dealers come in promising good times to last forever, and just as fast it's gone. All the money's gone with it. You want to know a secret? Mm. Well, I'm not a big fan of oil, either. Yeah. Really? Back home, I drive a hybrid. <laughs> You like it out there in Los Angeles? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You know, you do all right out there. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> how long are you going to be here for? I don't know, as long as my boss wants me to be. Another week, at least. So, what would you say to dinner tomorrow night? Real dinner, I mean. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, they say something about bedrock. The crude's made up of this stuff. Hey, can you put Angela on the phone anyway? Thank you. Angela, hey, it's Connor. I'm gonna need a, a flight back to LA. Tomorrow morning's perfect, thank you. All right, bye. Hi. How you doing? 
hi. I was waiting for you. That was my boss. My boss needs me back in LA, so I gotta cut the trip short. Oh. But I would really like to go out tonight still. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I'll see you later. thought I was picking you up. Uh, You're... Can I come in? Um, yeah, of course. Someone should enlighten this town about room service. It looks like it's just for one person. Yeah, well, I gotta catch my plane. Right, right. You knew I was. Yeah, yeah, I did. <clears throat> you know, Tyra, you're a really great girl. And, um,. Please, I, just I, don't. <laughs> Look, I, I have to be honest with you, Tyra. I'm, I'm involved. You know, in LA, I, I'm in a pretty serious relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was, you know, this was just a one-time thing, and I have a boyfriend. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I really have to, uh... Right. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> 